Creators in the house, show yourselves. We know many of you have come across those viral stick figure animations and have wondered how on earth you could make these animations yourselves. Aside from not knowing much about the technology involved, you may also be discouraged by the fact that you can't even draw. Well, you can use today's video to solve this problem. Join us as we show you how to create stick figure animation with the power of AI. In order to create these stick figure animations that have brought you to this video, the first task at hand is to come up with the idea for your animations. Now, while ChatGPT can be useful for this task, you will still need to give it that human touch. With that in mind, you may be able to get more ideas so that you can see what gets you and your audience going. This could prove to be important, especially if you want your video to go viral. To be honest, it isn't as complicated as you might think. After all, people are going viral by making fart jokes in these videos. With that in mind, it is also important not to put any pressure on yourself when you are making the script for this video. Try not to overthink it, and perhaps most importantly, try and have some fun with it. After all, chances are, if you can laugh or enjoy your videos, many others will. Well, once you are done making your script, you can move on to create the voiceover file for your video. This can be done by heading over to the text-to-speech tool known as ClipChamp. That said, one of the most popular text-to-speech apps and websites out there is Eleven Labs. With Eleven Labs, you have a source that can give you some of the most realistic AI voices that you can find in the market today. This is because they also give you 10,000 free characters to work with every month. To use the tool, just paste the content of the script onto the website, pick a voice that is most suitable for your animation project, and boom, you have your voiceover file. Now, we can embark on the fun part of this video. Again, we can confirm that you do not need to be Picasso to create your stick figure animations. All you need to do is to learn how to use this open source app known as Krita. Compatible with your phone, tablet, or PC, you can create anything that you want to create within reason, of course. With that in mind, we might as well give you guys a sample. Let's try something reasonably easy. A living room with a couch. Let's add a fridge as well, shall we? Great. Now, I don't know how to draw any of these things, so we are going to do a bit of research online. To be exact about what we're doing, we're going to find a basic line drawing online. That way, we won't need to draw the objects by ourselves. To get this free basic line drawing from the internet, we are going to head over to any free vector website. We do recommend Vecteezy for you guys. That way, we can find a free line drawing for our sofa. Now, the thing with finding these images is that they need to be simple enough for our stick figure feel. Also, some of these figures may be paid ones, so make sure that you filter for the free ones. Now that we have our vector file, we can turn our attention to the PNG format that we need for our video. For us to get the PNG format, we need to head over to Photopea. Considered to be something of a free version of Photoshop, this should help you go down your journey of stick figure animations. Once you get on there, import the vector files. Once this is done, you may notice that your project doesn't have a background layer. That's fine. All you have to do at this point is to export three files as PNG files. To be honest, this goes for any other vector file that you may want to use for your animation. As such, the same process goes for our fridge and any other item you may want to include in your stick figure animation. Just make sure to look out for images with backgrounds. With Photopea, you can get rid of the backgrounds before exporting it as a PNG file. Once all this is done, it's time for us to head over to Krita. Once there, you can create a new document that has a resolution of 19, 20 by 10, 80. Once you have set the resolution, you can set the room up by selecting the rectangle tool. Once you have done this, draw a rectangle and two simple lines to represent the wall. Following this, use the polygon tool to draw a door, then select the bucket tool so that you can paint the walls as you like. Once this is done, you can import the sofa and fridge into the image. Add whatever colors to make the clip more immersive. With this being done, the next thing for you to do is to create the character. To do this, we can head over to Vecteezy. Once there, you can sample one of the characters found on the website so that it can suit the purpose of your video. You can also add some clothes to the mix by searching through Vecteezy. For now though, we are going to leave our character without clothes. We will also be drawing him without his arms and legs. That way we can save ourselves from a ton of erasing and redrawing. Once this is done, 
it's time for the animation itself. For this to occur, you need to head over to the animation window. Once you are there, the next step is for you to right click on it so that you can add a new frame. Now the thing about creating a new frame is that the concept is simple enough. All you are doing is creating a duplicate for the first frame before shifting things around to show continuity. To keep track of what you are doing, you can switch on the onion skin feature. Create the changes you want in whatever sequence you want so that it makes sense as you go along. Make sure that you use that onion skin to keep track of what is going on. With that in mind, we must also do the work so that our stick figure looks like it's able to speak. In order to create the lip movement needed to simulate speech from your character, you can create different versions of our character with different lip movement patterns. Now we can import the character, erase it all except for the mouth, of course, then reposition said mouth on the original stick figure. Following this, make sure that you align it with that same character. If you only want this particular figure to last a few frames, all we have to do is adjust the duration and voila, you have your speech pattern on your character. To make sure this continues on in your projects, all you have to do is repeat Repeat the process with the other lip movements involved in your stick figure animation. Now if you want to add the voiceover to the animation, all you need to do is go to the audio button and boom, you can import the file into the project. Now. We must state that the app isn't too flexible when it comes to precise positioning of the voiceover files. With that in mind, we recommend that you export your files so that you can head over to other video editing tools such as CapCut. Either way, to export your video, all you have to do is render your work. To do this, head over to Render Application, choose the export file, and select the preferred file format, and before you know it, you have your stick figure animation video. Just take a look at the result. Isn't it amazing? What we didn't tell you is that this is our first attempt at creating these stick figure animations as well. This tells you that even the most inexperienced people can bring their visions to life with this stick figure animation technique without even breaking a sweat. Believe us when we say that if we can do it, you can do it too. Now, you have the tools to bring your visions to life.